Hey guys, it's your boy Fiscon here, and we're going to talk about elevators again today. This one's a lot simpler though. Um, I actually met a good friend through this glitch. The elevators don't work in some R&R station, so what happened was somebody in global chat was like, help, help, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, and I was like, okay, I'm bored, I'll go help, and he had to glitch his way out of the station and then EVA over to my ship because the elevators didn't work. So the steps to reproduce this one is you gotta land at crew L5, get confirmation landing complete, try to call elevator. What we're gonna do first is I'm gonna land off to the side and see if the elevators even work regardless of this step because I do not want my ship being stored. Hold delete to die. Uh, we're not gonna do that if we don't have to because that would spawn us in the station. Otherwise I will bring, I will bring a Carrick and hook up to the ICU. Respawn in R&R &R, crew L5 hab. See this is where it gets problematic. That's where you get stuck. Get up and fall into a wall, die again, get up, try next exit. Try to exit half, there are two doors clipped into each other. Press button twice to open both. Go into hallway and try to call elevator, but button doesn't turn orange to interact, unable to leave. In this situation, you would have to glitch through the walls in the hab, in the bedroom. And once you've done that, you can try and float out. That's the only way I've found to get out of there. All right, see you guys in the next part. All right, guys, for those of you that made it past the first minute, here's your reward. We weren't able to reproduce it, spoiler alert. Uh, that's just in our case, though, because I've seen it done by other players in our current patch. So if you can reproduce it, go ahead and do it, and then go to the issue council and drop a reproduction on the oldest report you can find. And I'll let you guys get back to the video. So I'm looking at her L5, and there's an R&R &R station, right? And then I back out, because... <clears throat> The glitch said Cur L5 or Crew L5. I normally don't go to these places, but am I crazy? Because I don't see a station here, guys. I see a bunch of mining claims. But I don't see no RR &R station. Unless it's in the rock. Which, I mean, is plausible with this game, honestly. Yeah, I'm not seeing a station. Well, I made an oopsies. Uh, it didn't slow down fast enough and I touched it and now we performed another glitch where it's attached to me. Whoops. The only good thing is there was nobody in it. But I hope he doesn't need it. <laughs> All bad, dude. <laughs> Alright guys, so I ended up restarting just to make sure we wouldn't have any issues. I'm gonna go ahead and request landing. Oh, I got cruise control on. That could have ended poorly. All right, we're actually gonna land in this one. We'll get ourselves glitched here and see what happens. We'll do the whole nine, whole nine yards. I don't know if it's gonna work on this one because this, this station might actually operate like normal. Who knows? Yeah, I don't think this station operates like normally. <laughs> Just based off the fact that these hangar doors are closed, and I don't think I'm on the wrong side. Maybe I'm on the wrong side? Whoops. both closed. Alright, I'm going to go to a pad and then I'll get back to you guys. Hmm, did not know this was the thing. Um, thought these were always unlocked. This is just a regular pad. What the hell? Well, let's see what happens when I die. I don't think it counts me at this station. I think it will spawn me at uh, Port Tressor, but we'll see.
That looks like our ship icon, which seems to be pretty close. Yeah, it spawned us in the station. And we got out like normal. Again, this this could be a different glitch altogether just because we went to a different location. Maybe they removed the other station mid-patch. I have no idea. I don't remember there being a station at Crew L3 or L5, so I'm going to have to double check. Okay, moment of truth. Alright, I'm lost. I'm gonna go pad two. Maybe those aren't even pads. We know the hangar's actually broken because we requested landing on the hangar and the door didn't open. And we got a confirmed landing. So that that's for sure broken. I'm gonna laugh if it brings us right to the carrack and that door shut. Actually no I'm not. It's not gonna be a good thing. <laughs> So I don't think those pads were actual landing pads then. Yeah, no. Okay. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I looked at the uh, skyline, and you know, I, I assumed maybe they meant her L5 instead of crew L5, however you pronounce those, just because I figured the five was correct. But L4 actually has a station, so he he could have been referencing L4, but said L5 instead on accident. <coughs> So I'm going to go check this one out real quick, and we'll see if we can emulate the glitches he's having. Okay, you know we're off to a good start when the uh, the door is open on the first pad we land at. Ooh. Okay, call elevator. Now, theoretically, this door just won't open. Okay, it opened. Let's, uh, let's go to the lobby. Button does not turn orange to interact. That's weird. This video might be getting scrapped because I can't replicate. I can call the elevator. I guess we could do an invalid report like, hey, I see that you said some, but everything works. Well, I guess we should do a, I can't reproduce. Again, we're at a different, like, I just don't know what station he's talking about, because there's crew L4, maybe, because L5 does not have a station on the map, and we flew there and we didn't see a station. You know, I, I told myself this would be a simple one, you know? Just go to the station and watch the doors not work. Well, now I just I have no idea. Where's L2? Is there no L2? There's L1, L4. L3, which we already looked at. Maybe there's not an L2. There's L5 again, which we know there isn't one. All right, we're just gonna do a conclusion. Actually, you know what? We'll do one more thing and then we'll do our conclusion. Oh yeah, I killed myself and I forgot to record it, so now we're spawning. <clears throat> we are on the same version of the game, right? <laughs> this was posted a day ago, 3.8.2 live, 289, and pretty sure yeah, 289. Hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead and spawn a ship at this station and then try to land with that ship. Oh, we got a free freelancer available for pull. And see if that perhaps will give us issues that we seek for once, right? Who would have thought? See that button clickable. I'm assuming, wasn't there a lot more pads when we came up here? I swear to God, there was like 12 pads listed when we came up the elevator. That's a bit funky. Am I on the right station? Yeah, the animal character was there. That's a bit questionable. I, maybe I'm just losing my mind. I'll find out when I go to edit this video. This was supposed to be a speed, speed run or speed lapse or whatever they call it, time lapse, that's it. <clears throat> this is the wrong station. <laughs> I, was, I was standing in the station. I touched down, I got in the elevator, I rode the elevator up. Whatever, it's fine because we still want to fly over there. And then try to land with the freelancer. Okay, so in this case, we requested landing, touched the pad, and now we're gonna head to the door. Okay, the elevator does work. Now, we should respawn here, theoretically. Well, the button does work. We should respawn. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're on the right one. So I'm just head up to the lobby, check all the elevators up there, see if they their door activates. And then from there, I think I will suicide. And if we don't spawn at the station, that's it for today. I'm just gonna put it as I cannot reproduce any part aside from the fact that I can't get the hangar door on Hurl L5 to open. Okay. All right, at this point, we're gonna kill ourselves and see if we spawn here and can glitch into the wall like the report was mentioning. Okay, the Carrick's 381 meters away. So that's some good news. Although, I'm sure the Freelancer got stored. I wonder if he used the F menu to get up. I wonder if that makes a difference. Okay, I got up just fine. Door works. Let's see if the elevators work. Yeah, we're gonna conclude that uh, everything seems to be operational. We're gonna do a conclusion in the next part. All right, guys, we're gonna call it quits on this one and say that we cannot reproduce their exact problems. As we saw, I was able to use the elevators at the two or three stations we visited. <laughs> We're going to ask for more details, but in conclusion, the only problem we had was when we requested docking through the Pearl L5 station, we were unable to get the doors to open on the pad it told us to land at, which was quite weird. But uh, if you guys can reproduce this, drop re reproduction on an older one or this one if you can't find an older one. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And catch you guys next time.